G'day and how's it going on this glorious spring morning? I just wanted to give you a first hand look. We've just uncovered the half a bed of plastic. This was potato bed last year, which was harvested and these were planted as the potatoes were harvested. So I just wanted to show you the weed suppression that the uh, plastic has created over the winter period. Um, as you can see down here where all these were planted that's that's the winter weed growth this has been covered over and this is the suppression dogs can hear me and they uh, think it's someone weird so you can see the difference between the two uh, remnants of potatoes starting to pop up more potatoes starting to pop up but most of the weeds there's a difference between the two there so you got weed and you got dead weed so we'll get into the shade where you can see probably a bit better as well and yeah so there's little or no weeding and digging over to do so I'm going to start uh, not up this end I've got a that tree unfortunately needs to be trimmed back lovely tree casting shadow on my bed so uh up this end i'm going to start planting out the seedlings that i got from eden hill farm or garden whatever they want to call themselves i think it goes by both but the worm activity on top of the surface this worm's probably when i uncovered it there was nice giant worm up here but he's obviously dived back under so yeah but the activity under here is really good there was lots of bugs and stuff trying to jump out as I uncovered it so I'm to try and avoid digging the bed to disturb whatever seeds are there I understand that they're probably now that the sun's come out Oh, so we've got slug activity. I might even get the chickens out and let them have a run over this for a second. They'll probably go straight for the better produce anyway. So, yeah, just a quick video to show you what's going on. I'm going to plant out uh, some veggies for spring. Hopefully it's not too early. It possibly will be, but... Look at those snails. Yeah, you're gonna go to the chickens. So, hopefully it's not too early. The ground will have a chance to warm up. I mean, the seedlings are local, so they're adapted to the conditions. So we'll, um, we'll stick them all in the ground and keep you updated on how the, how the seedlings going. So yeah, right on cue. Chuck some dead cauliflower leaves over there. Chickens are out checking out what I've offered them. So I've planted out these seedlings. Full row of seedlings. We've got the red cabbage, green cabbage, and broccoli. So I'm going to cover them over like that net there. Because, yeah. The moths will be out as soon as the sun comes out and those white butterflies, you know, those white butterflies. So hopefully, uh, yeah, I'll keep you all in touch with what's uh, going to happen here. And uh, I don't know, we'll see what we'll do up there. Like I said, I've got to get rid of that tree. It's shading it too much. I think I've got for that far bed corn corn earmarked for at least half of it anyway so yeah until the next video we'll see you then thought I'd jump in with a quick side note at the end this is the broccoli in the greenhouse and these are the side shoots so they're not bad size side shoots I think I'll harvest them 
they're just starting to open up so still edible we'll eat eat them and i'll give barry some and then this bed can be ripped out and prepared for our capsicums that we want to grow look at that lettuce and there are the tomatoes that i commercially brought so they're doing well out here and uh yeah that's all there is about it hopefully all's well with you and yours quick check on what the cauliflower is doing oh yeah it might be a late ah, can't see in there uh, yeah there is cauliflower starting it might be a late cauliflower season not all they'll end up with the chickens anyway until the next video catch you then